बैलेंस द केमिकल इक्वेशन बाय लॉ ऑफ कंसर्वेशन ऑफ मास सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट प्लस पोटाशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज गिव्स अस सोडियम कार्बोनेट प्लस पोटाशियम कार्बोनेट प्लस वाटर इन दिस इक्वेशन द रिएक्टेंट्स आर सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट एंड पोटाशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड द प्रोडक्ट्स आर सोडियम कार्बोनेट पोटाशियम कार्बोनेट एंड वाटर If you look at this equation, the equation is not balanced. In the reactant side, there are one sodium atom, two hydrogen atoms, one carbon atom, four oxygen atoms, and one potassium atom present. And the products side, there are two sodium atoms, two hydrogen atoms, two carbon atoms, seven oxygen atoms, and two potassium atoms present. The number of atoms are not balanced on both sides. To balance the chemical equation, we need to make use of coefficients. A coefficient is a number that we place in front of a chemical formula. In this equation, we need to balance the sodium atoms first. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of two in front of NaHCO3. The sodium atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the potassium atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of two in front of KOH. The potassium atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of two in front of H2O. The sodium atoms are balanced. The equation is now balanced. There are two sodium atoms, four hydrogen atoms, two carbon atoms, eight oxygen atoms, and two potassium atoms on both sides. If you like this video please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon